And as we all prepare for the snow, it's important to remember those most vulnerable. According to the Greater Kansas City Coalition and Homelessness, nearly 1,800 people are without a home on any given night in Kansas City. Very important, especially as we hit the cold weather months. There are resources available to make sure no one is left out in the cold. Our reporter Gian Kim joins us with organizations making that happen and the clients they serve. At night, we'll take up these chairs and we'll put down about 20 mats. Eric Berger with Shelter KC is already seeing an overflow of clients. With the potential of the season's first snowfall, these empty beds will be completely packed by 6 p.m. When we just go from our car to your work, you don't realize what cold is when you spend a night in that cold. So to be in a warm place, be in a safe place, to also not have to sleep with your eye open, mm -hmm. thinking somebody's going to come into your tent to, to steal your shoes, um, that is rest. Shelter KC predicts an even higher number of newcomers this winter. They say it's the consequence of a hard year, a rise in evictions, job loss, and an ongoing mental health crisis. I feel, I feel for others. Yeah. Anthony Cox found community here after being evicted from his home and living on the streets. For people who come here, what do you think a bed and a meal means for them? Everything. Everything. Some of them come here and they are so hungry. They're, they're asking others for, you know, can, are you not going to eat that? And they'll eat right off of somebody else's plate. I mean, they're, they've been out there for a minute and it's cold and they're hungry and they're wet. They're tired. A few miles away, this community kitchen serves about 500 meals per day. During a cold front, they see an uptick of an additional 100 to 200 meals. When you are struggling, sometimes that can make all the difference in the course of your day. Executive Director of Nourish KC, Sue Fenske, says having a nutritious meal leads to better immune systems. It's vital in helping combat illnesses for the houseless. There is no shame in asking for help and right here there is no question. They get to have these beds, has a locker, has a charging station. Berger says one silver lining of winter weather is that certain people will come in for help when they otherwise wouldn't. That's a chance for a relationship and trust building for long-term rehabilitation. And if you have that, then we can work with you on other areas in your life. Gian Kim, KSHB 41 News.